colony of algae increases in size 15% per week. Now, what's the ratio of this going to be if it increases by 15%? 1.15. Yeah, because it's essentially 1.00x, how much you start with, plus 0.15x. Does that make sense? It's the whole plus more. So when you add those together, do you see how I get 1.15x? Or just 1.15? Yeah. Okay. And place in a lake, find the weight of LG that will be present after 12 weeks. So after 12 weeks, n equal to 12, what is this going to be equal to? Now this has a little trick to it, just a tiny one. And the tiny one is this, uh, A, R, N, I think we're good. So A of 12 is A times R to the N minus 1, right? Okay, so this guy is going to be A of 12 is the first amount, 10 grams, and this is 1.15 to the, how many weeks is it? 12 minus 1. Okay, so here's the tricky part, and this is the part I don't like. If you're talking about starting off n equal to 1, what would the end of the first year be for a term 2, right? So at the end of 12, what would it really be? 13. So a little trick there. That's actually 13. And when you looked at the answer, you saw a r to the 12th, right? And you're kind of going, huh? How come it's that and not 11? Because the beginning first is n equal to 1. The end of the first year is 2. The end of the second year is 3. Does that make sense? Are you good with that? And then you can crank that out. For the lake to be considered seriously polluted when there is an excess of 10,000. So the sum of this is greater than or equal to 10,000. And so this was A times 1 minus R to the N over 1 minus R. Does that part gel make sense in your brain? Is that good? So then what I would do, I would then just plug this, plug the values in. 10,000 Less than or equal to, we started with 10. We go 1.15 to the n all over 1 minus 1.15. Divide by 10. So now I have 1,000 less than or equal to 1 minus 1.15 to the n. And then this is going to be over. What's 1 minus 1.15? Negative 0.15. Now, I don't like to do it, but I'm going to have to do it here. No, I don't. I'm going to move this to this side. 1 minus, I'm going to, I don't like that dividing by a negative. 1 minus 1.15 to the n over, I'm adding it over, 0.15, still the same sign. This is negative 1,000. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by 0.15, and I get 1 minus 1.15 to the n, less than or equal to, is this like negative 150? Does that sound right? Yes? Right? 0.15 times 10, uh, 1,000? Yeah. Then what you're going to do is subtract 1, you're going to get negative 1.15 to the n, less than or equal to negative 151. Give you a chance to write that down. And then what I want you to do is tell your neighbor what the next step is. What are you going to do next? What's next? There's two ways to do it. One is you just divide by negative and flip the signs, right? 
But look at the sense making that happens. If I add this to this side, and I add this to the other side, and I just leave that inequality alone, is that the same thing as multiplying by negative 1 and switching the signs? It's the same, isn't it? Doesn't it make more sense this way? A little extra work, but it makes sense. Now, John, what do I do here? It looks like I'm stuck. Oh, interesting. You could, but I have this power, this base to a power, and I have this. What do you suggest we do? Logs, yep. Change it from exponent to log. So this is going to be log base what? 1.15 of 151, and that's going to be something n. Now, n here, this power is greater than this side, right? n is greater than this side, so it's going to still be the same n is going to be greater than this. Okay? So could someone give me a number here? Log base 1.15 of 151. I think it's 35.4 something. Did anybody else get that? So then, if that's right, n is going to be greater than or equal to what integer? I think it's just 35, isn't it? Or 36? Round it up to 36. It'll take 36 years where you know you're going to have over 10,000. Or on the 35th year, you're going to get 10,000, however you want to articulate it. And that's it for that one.